Come on, sir. Try to remember. Hello? What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this Who's is your friend there. Well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Can't nothing good come of this. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> 
I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you could get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you. Like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> Okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness! <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. I want nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy. <sighs> They scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Ugh. Hell, Ugh. that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book. You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. 
killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hogfeed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! No. No. No! You did not! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. Time to go, boy.
Necesitamos escapar de este frío. ¿De qué te quejas? Yo no tengo frío. Eh, sí, que lo tienes. Eh, Justa. Solo que estás en el rancho para Stranger. darte cuenta. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? Put your weapons away, and I'll come out. I'm unarmed. Well, King Gallo. I just want to talk. About Boy Calloway? Sure. Here's your message. Easy, whoa. There. Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. 
That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. <laughs> well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess they'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, mister. Piece of shit. Morning, Ted. Fine looking steed you got there. Hard 
Hey there. Fine morning. I caught the railroad bait shambling around my backyard. Gentlemen. Good morning to you. Oh, hello. Been a while since you were around this way. Alden, I need a word. Hello, you. What can I help you with? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. This is the train. Just find the bar car. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that! I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh. I knew you'd come, but you ain't getting me! I knew you'd come for me! It weren't my fault! I knew! Now you don't know nothing, Mr. Midnight! I wanna talk! Don't do something foolish! You come for me! Come on! Hey there, partner. Morning. How's things? Bad. Things is bad. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. 
This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. I just wish today was over already. Well, don't be giving up now. This is the Grand Corrigan Riverboat, Queen of the Lanahatchee. Hey, I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Uh, to be honest... Things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I... If we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... If them says I didn't, I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill the both of you! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody! No, of course you don't, but maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Eh? Yeah. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! Nah, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Nah. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now. You're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All uh, right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Hey there, mister. How's things? Just fine.
You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> You made short work of them. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. Comfortable enough for you? So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one, didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. 
And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would've, if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that then. I shot him back. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Yet indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm. I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. 